If you consider yourself an artist and a creator, chances are that you aspire to have a great career, to be recognized, to have an audience that loves you and your craft, to be successful. We look at our idols and dream that this huge breakthrough that happened to them will happen to us too one day. And just like in their case, it will happen fast. Thing is, there is no overnight success. I remember when I heard this sentence, how impactful it was, permanently changing my mindset. And I want you to hear it too. It's a misconception, a fancy term used to colorize a story, make it even more attractive. As if achieving success in longer time isn't attractive enough, but let's not get into this now. A few years back, I was impatient. I wanted to achieve my goals fast. I wanted to see results of my work within months or even weeks. Also, a few years back, I was, and still am, a huge fan of Lindsay Sterling. As I was getting into YouTube and filmmaking, having a background in dancing and violin, I couldn't help but feel a connection and also a little bit of envy. You see, in my eyes, Lindsay got on YouTube and her career exploded and that was the whole story. In 2012, the world got to know her from the crystallized music video. She hit 1 million views overnight. Lindsay said herself that she knew her life changed when she saw the view count in the morning. At the end of the year, the video had 42 million views and was an example of a viral phenomenon. Today, that video has been viewed over 230 million times and it's just one of her many with similar view count. It kickstarted her career, it started world tours and albums. She was an overnight success story, right? Well, wrong. I knew Lindsay as an established artist and I judged her by the information I had which started with that crystallized video. That was when the world and myself became aware of her. What I didn't know was her background and everything that happened before the video crystallized. Let me backtrack for a second. Lindsay was born in 1986. She started playing violin at the age of five and never stopped. She was dancing all of her life too and was truly a creative and innovative person. She got on YouTube around 2007. In 2010, she got on America's Got Talent, seeing this as her chance for a big break, that someone will see her and recognize her. She was kicked out, but not before being told that she's not good enough. She doesn't have what it takes to fill the theater and that she sounds like rats being strangled. She felt devastated and humiliated in front of millions of people. But that didn't stop her. She decided to work harder, to prove her own worth. She met Devin Supertramp and they collaborated on videos. Before Crystallize, she actually put out about 15 other videos that were also great. But it was 2012, two years after the America Got Talent show and many, many years of hard work prior to this point that she finally saw a return of her investment. She didn't just become an artist overnight. She was an artist since she was five. Can you see where I'm going with this? I'm nowhere near Lindsay's success, but I learned the patience and now I'm happy with each goal I achieve. I can tell you that before I started sharing my jewelry, I spent years studying history of art and making jewelry. Before I opened my YouTube channel, I spent another few years learning about videos, filmography and YouTube as a platform. I was making strategies, case studies, plans and drafts of ideas. The boring stuff. Things don't just happen suddenly. There is always a timeline of events that leads up to that moment when larger audience learns about someone. It's work plus time plus circumstance that can result in breakthrough. Yes, sometimes that happens faster in some cases, but more often behind every success story, there are years of practice 
trial and error, heartbreak, rejection and failure. We just don't pay attention to this in someone else's case until we see them succeed and gain recognition. I don't mean to discourage you when I say that overnight success takes 10 years to happen. It can be five, it might be two. But what I want you to know is that allowing time is the key. It sounds cliche at this point, but do things for the process. Enjoy the process, because when you do, time will pass faster and working on things will make you happy. And once your big break comes, you will be ready, you will be able to enjoy it and take as much value as possible from it, to turn it into a sustainable career instead of watching it burn fast. Invest in good foundation. Don't be afraid to fail. Failure is you adjusting the course of your actions. When you put yourself out there, you will receive criticism. There will be people who will not get what you're doing or why you're doing it. They will feel compelled to tell you what they think. I know that firsthand. So be prepared. Know that this is going to happen. It's in the package. It may not be a judge in your case or a nasty viewer, but it might be a family member, an uncle or a cousin, a lady at a craft fair. Someone will criticize you because if there's something people are generous in giving, it's their opinions. But don't let the fear of that happening stop you. Rather, go out there, know this is likely to happen and just let it go. Keep going and let yourself feel the satisfaction from it. Let's enjoy working on our overnight success every day for days to come.